dog. Candy's sick. My dog is still... Turn the heater off here. My dog is still trying to get used to uh, traveling. I think it's going to take a while. Maybe spring into summer. I don't know. We got the kennel in the truck to calm the dog down. It's not used to... to I mean, it, it travels fine. It just wants to sit on the driver's lap all the time. And, not, you know, out of abundance of precaution, we can't allow that, right? So, good morning, everyone. It's still morning. It's 1130-ish. We're expecting 25 inches of snow. It's bad ass. I can't wait. Yeah, heck yeah. So I thought before the snow flies, I would rectify my metal shop air compressor situation. And I just got a 60 gallon. It's not a two stage, but uh, the price was right. Menards is giving 11% off right now. You can't beat the deal. So I got me a new air compressor that'll handle all my die grinders and it'll handle my plasma cutter, probably no sweat. And those are the only two real things that uh, were concerning to me with my Harbor Freight small, I think it's like a 26 gallon or something like that I have, a McGraw air compressor. Now I have a Master Force. Yeah, we have us a, a Star Wars air compressor. And I'm en route now to the homestead. Hopefully it's strapped down okay. I got my eye on it. See it back there? Yeah, buddy. We're just getting better and better in our metal shop here. And this is going to be real valuable to me. To me. To have. In my small space. So I don't have to go south for the winter. I can still build awesome crap. So, we'll see you on the home front. This isn't like one of them 700 pound ones. This is not, not as, as heavy as them big giant cast iron ones I was looking at. So, we'll get her unloaded with the John Deere probably. Glad I got that compressor when I did, boys. <laughs> Heck yeah. I did miss two appointments to have it hooked up, though. Two. Well, they weren't appointments. An electrician, who I use and who's the only one I'll use. Well, yeah, probably. Do you have one of those things in here? I don't know. Anyway, he... They showed up two times to hook my new air compressor up, twice. Once at seven in the morning, and once I, I was up, I was just in the shower, I didn't hear them, so they left. They're trying to do it between jobs, you know, because I, I, my electrician is a neighbor and a really awesome guy. And so they showed up again in the afternoon at lunchtime and Candy and I were at Harbor Freight. <laughs> so we missed them again. So, like I said, they're trying to do it between jobs. Because it's not a ginormous job. I just need an air compressor hooked up. I don't know how to do it. And I don't want to know how to do it. So, I, I just told them, you know. Maybe we should make an appointment. Instead of this just showing up stuff. So that's what we did. So I'll have it next week. I made an appointment to have it hooked up. So I'll just stare at it between now and then. That's okay. It's not like I use it every day. But I might. I might now. Once it's hooked up, I start using it every day because it's bigger until it wears off. You know, something new, you want to use it. You want to use it all the time. And then the newness wears off and then not so much. But, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to, to start using it. Anyway, we're getting six to ten inches of snow in the next 
couple of hours I guess yeah six to ten inches so I want to run some errands before we have to do some major snow cleanup and I'm gonna bring candy with me and the dog and the baby yeah hands are cold now so that's the way uh, north country life goes Hi. Me and the guy behind me, the only two vehicles on the road. He's got a snow plow on the front of his truck. And I keep moving over because he's kind of sort of tailgating me a little bit. But he won't pass me. See, look, I'm, I'm over. I moved over. See that? I think you can't see once when you get on the side, though. Snow gets in his face. Some people just rather tailgate you been past you. I, I don't get that one, but I'm cool with it. Don't affect me none. Anyway, the reason I bought a uh, one-stage 60-gallon air compressor, it was 700 bucks. Plus, we got 11% rebate. So, we get like almost 100 bucks back from Menards, which is a badass. Got a cough drop. Helps clear my sinuses, the menthol kind. Anyway, we are going to go to AAA Equipment in a town called Jenkins before we get the 10 inches of snow because we want to get a snowblower that's smaller than that behemoth I have. Now, Candy, my wife, that's her, she's the only wife I have. She won't, she can't operate the heavy equipment. Even that snowblower is really big, it's really heavy, it's really cumbersome, and you have to muscle It's got the automatic drive and everything, but you still have to muscle it. It is not easy to use. So we've been neglecting a lot of the porches and things like that because of that reason. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of shopping up in Cross Lake, then we're going to go down to Jenkins and look for snowmobiles snow blowers that are a little smaller so that we can we got a dog now we got to touch up areas so the dog can go duty yeah hopefully they'll have something not too too expensive that has a decent warranty and we can clean up our porches with it's pretty exciting, right, honey? Yeah, especially before they ice up. What happens is we always get that warm weather, 40s, 50s, and it ices up and it gets shaded, or it melts and we get a lot of shade in the afternoon there, and now we're walking on ice, you know, so that uh, I do shovel it as often as I can, but with the puppy now, it's kind of harder. So, but she, I tell you, she is starting to improve. We had a couple tough days with her. She was just so active, couldn't calm down. We're still kind of figuring out her, She's so high active that I think she needs more food, but we don't want to get her fat. We are known to get our animals fat. So she's got an, a, her a vet appointment uh, next week. We'll discuss her dietary uh, needs with them. But we have given, been giving her a little bit more food, not a lot. And she seems to be calming down now. And it's really cute. We haven't caught it on camera, but she will look at her food bowl for hours until we feed her. So that's probably an indication that she needs more food, especially as high level active she is. But, uh, you know, we're new pet owners, new puppy owners, and every animal is different. And we'll figure it out. But she's overall a well behaved dog. She knows a lot of commands. When she's super hyper, we know to put her in her kennel so she can calm down and relax. And of late, she's actually gone in her kennel on her own and fell asleep. So that's a good, she knows that's her safe spot to calm down and relax. So we're making good progress with Snoopy. She's a wonderful puppy. And just to make the record to be clear, this is not our first rodeo. We've always had dogs our whole life. This isn't our first dog. We've had dogs, always had dogs. We just took a two year break from dogs and cats. 
you know, and goats and chickens and turkeys and we still have rabbits, but we had, yeah, we had it all, but we miss our, our uh, indoor pets, let's just say. Plus a dog is, a, even though we have security out the yin yang, a dog is still a great security system. I was uh, watching some videos of uh, Minnesotans that go south for the winter and they're still down at Quartzsite where the wind is blowing like 70 miles an hour and they're relegated to their camper or their van. They're relegated. They, can't, they don't want to go outside because it's too windy and too dusty. And there's too many mice. And they're whining and complaining. I watch them. I like to watch them whine and complain. You know, it makes me feel really good about my situation here, which I still think is badass. Look at this. This is awesome as shit. Heck yeah. That snow, it's just drifting across the road. Just it's moving. It, it looks like water. It's kind of neat. Camera probably won't pick it up, but it might. Let's see. So we went to uh, AAA Equipment in Jenkins, Minnesota. They didn't have any snow snow blowers. There's four employees there and they're all sitting around not doing anything. They're on a computer and stuff and weren't too excited to see customers today. They had one battery operated Greenworks. Yeah. Not for me. We 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 don't do the battery operated thing in 20 below zero. You know, it it might be fine if all you're doing is a sidewalk in an urban area, but yeah, we, we need more. So, we're going to go to Baxter Brainerd area and look around the shops there, see what we can come up with. We're, we're not going to go to big box stores unless it's a last resort. Minnesota legislative it went from Republican-dominated House and, and uh, Senate to Democrats, so now, of course, you know, they're outlawing all gasoline engines by 2025 that's just a couple of years away for small like lawn mowers and chainsaws and snow blowers not vehicles yet but i'm sure that's coming you know minnesotans are very tolerant people and they'll probably put up with it for a while but the very minute they start saying you cannot have a gasoline operated boat yeah that's when the pitchforks come out that's when the mobs come out they or anything whatsoever to do with outdoor sporting activities yeah that they're kind of steering clear of that right now because they know what'll happen if they go there but heck you know they i don't know they do some goofy shit lately so i don't know but there they're sitting here i'm kind of hypnotized by this snow on the road it's kind of dancing there. Like it's alive. But it is an enjoyable day to drive around when you're expecting 10 inches of snow because there's nobody else out. I like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm getting more satisfaction out of. This is the drive here, right? Yeah. yeah. This is the uh, the chute that operates the chute. Oh, okay. This That's is the speed. Good. Okay. This is the uh, the chute operation. I already we said that already. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, the choke is right here. The key. Yeah. They, if you shut it off, you just pull it out like this. See this? It 
strips it off, you just pull the key out. But you leave the key in because you'll lose the key. Snoopy. Snoopy. Their cat's name's Charlie. Oh, Charlie and Snoopy. Yeah. Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Yeah. You've done this before. Yeah. This was the short port. Perfect. Want me to get stuck. No, you won't get stuck. A little higher. Good, that's good, that's good. Alright, Daddy, put it down. Down, down. Yep. Okay, you can go. I'd be bored too. All right, we got a single stage, single stage Husqvarna snowblower from a reputable dealership that, that we trust. No, this is uh, they sell Husqvarna and Kubota. It was uh, pricey, but. Isn't everything these days, right? Plus, we're getting income tax return. That's why we got a compressor and another snowblower. Okay. Not that anyone cares. But this is going to make our lives, our senior citizen lives, so much easier. Because Candy will be able to handle this while I uh, am plowing the driveway with other bigger things. Okay, we made it home. I need to unload the truck the same way I unloaded it before. I, I got the compressor, I pulled the tractor out, I unloaded that compressor with this awesome ass John Deere. Now I'm gonna do the same for the Husqvarna new snowblower. There's like six to eight inches, I think, right now on the driveway.
first thoughts. I can tell you right now, the first thoughts are this thing is for me. This is 10 times better than what I was using the John Deere. The John Deere snow blower, it's a great snow blower. It's, it's just big, it's powerful, and it's cumbersome as hell. It, it's automatic shoots where you push a button, it turns left and it turns right, and you push another button, it, it goes up and it goes down, and they're always jamming. They constantly jam, they never work right. You're always stopping to unjam the chute so you can keep going. It's just, I don't know. I never liked it, and I may or may not sell it. It just depends, but I can tell you right now, this, this Husqvarna is half the size and so much lighter. It seems like it pushes just as much snow. I mean, I know it's not. It's, it just looks that way because the, it doesn't have a wide a base as my John Deere did but this is money well spent. I really enjoy using this and I can get beside the greenhouse really easily now because I'm not worried about bashing into it because that John Deere is kind of hard to control. It really is. I can, I can tell you from 15 years experience. <laughs> so I wish I would have got this sooner. And let's get to the beaten potatoes of the reason that I wanted this so bad. There is no possible way that Candy could have operated that John Deere. That she just, yeah, it, she couldn't have done it. But this one, on the other hand, <laughs> no problem. So she could be snow blowing while I'm uh, operating heavy equipment, clearing the driveway. Get it done twice as fast. <laughs>